As a consumer, the competition for your spending has never been higher. And as a result, it's nearly impossible to spend money in these days without at least having the option of earning some sort of reward, whether it's credit card points, hotel points, or frequent flyer miles. Now, most of these loyalty programs are built on the concept that a consumer is rewarded for their business by getting approximately 1% of their total spend back in the form of reward. Now, on one hand, 1% doesn't sound like a lot, so it's understandable if you've ever been that person that's thrown away these low value rewards because you didn't realize that they actually have some real value. Maybe you didn't have your frequent flyer number with you when one day and you took the flight anyway, or you paid cash for something you could have put on a credit card. On the other hand, I'm here to tell you, miles and points add up and the results can be spectacular. A little extra effort definitely goes a long way. I'm Jason Divnier and today I'm gonna to talk about three things. Why 1% matters, why the opportunity for earning miles and points should never be ignored. And I'm gonna teach you a trick to make sure you're getting good redemption value when you do redeem those hardware points and miles. And how do I know any of this? I've been playing this game for 13 years. I'm pretty good at it by now. I earn millions of miles every year and I go on some pretty awesome vacations I would not otherwise be able to go on. Because uh, points and miles can be redeemed for almost anything, they are a very powerful tool at giving you access to things you wouldn't otherwise have access to. Think very expensive international first class flights, luxury accommodations, overwater villas. But knowing what to spend your miles and points on isn't always easy. So we're going to talk about a trick to, to make you a little more comfortable with that. Loyalty programs are everywhere, <laughs> but that also means that there's opportunity everywhere. It's easy to get overwhelmed though. A common mistake is trying to accrue points in all of these programs. The smarter move is to target just a few programs and stick to them whenever possible. The best scenario is to have more points in fewer programs. So now you've been saving up and you have all, all these points. How do you know what to redeem them for? The best way to judge how good of a redemption you're getting is to calculate a metric called CPM or cents per mile. Calculating is simple. You take the value of the object you want, you divide by the number of miles needed, and you have your CPM. Here's a quick example. Something that's worth $100 is offered to you for 10,000 miles. That equates to one cent per mile. Now, is that good? Let's look at this handy decoder ring I made, and we see that it's eh, not terrible, but it could be better. Different programs have different values for their points and miles, but a good rule of thumb is to make sure you get a minimum of one cent per mile. One cent per dollar spent is a 1% reward. Now only redeem miles when the valuation is good. Airlines and credit card companies love to try to trick you into terrible redemptions. So be smart and don't fall for it. Now let's take a look at some examples. Here we've got an Apple iWatch, $399 or 133,000 miles from United Mileage Plus. CPM, oof. Three tenths of one penny. That is a bad redemption. Uh, we know that because we're going to look at this decoder ring and see that it falls in the red area. Now, beware, gift cards also usually fall into this category, so stay away from them. Looking at this flight from LA to Cabo, $549 or 35,000 miles. Survey says 1.5 cents. Okay, that's a decent redemption. Emirates first class, okay, LA to Maldives, believe it or not, $39,000. You've been saving up for this a while, so 300,000 miles. CPM, 13 cents. That is a great redemption. In general, you'll always get the best redemption values from airfare. So remember, put in the effort to earn the extra miles and points whenever you can. And more importantly, do the math before redeeming these points to make sure you're getting the best value you can. Before you know it, your 1% effort will turn into enough points and miles for that dream vacation you've always wanted. Thank you very much.